Hi everyone, my name is Kristen Hayes and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. And today I'm going to show you how to make this masculine looking birthday card using quite a few new products out of the 2020-2021 annual catalog. So let's get started. So our first piece is going to be a piece of Knight of Navy and it's cut at eight and a half by five and a half and I did score it at four and a quarter already. And then I have a piece of the 2020-2022 six by six in color DSP and I did use this side up on the sample so I'm gonna use this side up just to do something different. And this is cut at five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So let's just get some more adhesive on the back here. There we go, whoops. And I'm just going to adhere it right to our base. There we go. Then I have a piece of Seaside Spray. This is cut by, at, ugh, this is cut at four and 15 sixteenths and three by 11 sixteenths. And I don't usually cut paper in sixteenths, but I use scrap and that's what it was and I like the way it looks, so that's what I went with. So we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on here using the Comfort and Hope stamp set. And this is a great set that'll coordinate with a lot of different projects, but it also has some really nice looks together. A lot of collage type looks will be really pretty using this. So we're just gonna use this grid type stamp right here. And I'm going to use the Misty Moonlight ink. And I'm just going to do the border along the top here. And I'm, I'm just going to stamp twice each time and go in a different direction and not really worry about, too much about where I'm placing the stamps. You're only going to see a tiny bit of it around the border anyways. And I just wanted to add a little dimension. There we go. That looks fine. Let me just close this up. Alrighty, so then we can adhere this right to our base as well. Alright. There we go. Okay, so then I have a piece of Whisper White, and this is where the Happy Birthday is going to go. And this is cut at 4 by 7 sixteenths and 3 by 3 sixteenths. So I'm just going to put that aside for right now. Then I have another piece of Whisper White, and this is cut at three and a half by three and a quarter. And that's just an approximation. This is just the amount that I will need for my letters that we're going to cut out. If you have more letters, you might need more paper. If you have less letters, obviously less paper. So you can work it however you want. I kind of laid mine out first to see. And I'm going to just start with my stamping blends with the brush tip end. And I'm going to just go up and across the paper and come back. That was, oh, sorry, that was the light seaside spray. And then I'm going to come in with the dark seaside spray again with the brush tip. And I'm just going to go right over where I went that time. And it really doesn't matter how thick or thin these come out. This is the light misty moonlight. Um, we're gonna be cutting letters out of it so no one's going to see exactly where it starts and where it finishes. This is now the light night of navy. And we're just gonna continue down our paper. And then I have the dark um, night of navy really stiff and then I have the dark misty moonlight and then you just start over again with the seaside spray and you're just going to go down the paper in the same order once again so instead of watching me do a whole page I already did one off camera so I have one all set so what we're going to do is you can see on the sample that the letters are raised and it's a new product in the annual catalog called the Foam Adhesive Sheets. 
and you get, I've already cut into mine quite a bit, you get six of this size sheet and you can cut it very easily to get the shape that you need. And these go right through the die cut machine. So I cut a piece, this is the same size as my paper, the three and a half by three and a quarter. And I'm just going to take off one side of the adhesive. It's very sticky, so be careful. because you, you want it to be really sticky um, and you don't want it all to come off on your fingers. So we're just gonna give that a good press. And now I'm going to bring the big shot up and we're gonna cut out our letters. The letters we're using are from the, let's see, Playful Alphabet Dies. And I've been moving all of my dies onto a piece of magnetic uh, paper, but I didn't on this one because it has the outline of each letter after you take it off so you know exactly where it goes back. So I'm going to try that for a while and see how that goes. And I already got out all the letters that I need for the happy birthday. All right. So we're just going to put this on here. And then when I put on the letters, I'm going to make sure they're not quite straight, just so that it's really hard to get them all perfectly straight. So I decided I'd rather have them kind of haphazard on here than to try and make sure everything was perfect. I'd rather just see how they bounce around a little bit. The smaller dies do that. And we're just putting all the letters for happy birthday. And we'll have to go back through with a couple of them because they, um, I don't know where the eye went. Uh-oh. Oh, here it is. Okay. Don't want to lose the eye. Um, we'll have to come back through with a couple of them because um, you need two of some of the letters. All right. So that's fine. So they're on. You can see I just kind of put them on. We're going to just run this through. And then because it's so thick, I did run it back again without lifting up. All right. I had a little hanging over, so it really is sticky. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to take these off. And I'm trying not to get the backs of this adhesive off yet because it is so sticky. Once it comes off, it, it you really have to stick it on. So we need another H here, we'll do. We need another A here. The T we're all set with. The D just came out, that's why I took it out. It, it's okay to run them back through again. The R, um, I need another P. There's the I, and I need another Y. So we're just gonna run this back through again. And again, we're just gonna come back without lifting anything up. All right, and it's stuck again. This adhesive is great on here. All right. <clears throat> So then I'm going to take my piece of Whisper White and we're going to start putting the letters on. So I like to kind of start in the middle when I'm figuring it out, but I think I'm going to start all the way over to the left this time because I can see the placement I already made. When I made this, I started with the T and the H and then spread out that way, but I can see how it's going to fit already. So it's pretty tight fit but it'll work. So I'm just gonna take this B out and I'm gonna use my take your pick tool to punch out the middle parts that we don't need. They're kind of bendable, so you gotta be careful you're not gonna crease them, but there we go and the back's starting to come off and that's okay now because we're gonna put it right down. So we're gonna just start the B right here, maybe over just a smidge. We can always trim the paper if we need to because there's no 
direct backing on it. So we need our I. So this might take me a minute to get all the letters out. But I've been using this um, adhesive, um, this foam adhesive rather, on some other projects as well. And I just love it. I'm already going to put in an order for some more. I wish, um, I wish it came in bigger sheets actually. All right, here's the R. And you could do this so it's all continuous with, like if I had done happy across and then birthday across, you know, made the um, T, that's what I'm looking for. I can't talk apparently and pick out letters. Um, so it was all like this going the same way with the blends, but I liked the way it looked having it different. Here's the H. And I think it's just amazing that this, you can cut right through the foam sheets with the, um, here's our D, with, with your die cut machine. And just my brain is racing with the possibilities of the things you can do with it. Sometimes dimensionals are great, and obviously I use them all the time, but sometimes when you have certain shapes, you know, it's harder to get them to work, and this will alleviate that problem. Okay, we just need the Y now for the birthday. There we go. A little crooked, not too bad though. All right, and so now we're just going to do the happy above it. So we need another H here. We're gonna just put that right here. Another A. And these are sticky. You could always use a ruler if you wanted to make sure they were exactly straight, but it didn't really bother me that they might not be perfect, so. All right, this is almost coming off here. There we go. We just have the P and the Y left. Making sure I'm not losing any of those little Dies. I love these letters. They're really, really cute. And you'll be able to use them for Merry Christmas or Joy or whatever you want to spell out. Someone's name would be great. A word you're missing, like when you're thinking of a sentiment and then you're missing the word for it, you can spell whatever you want. But anyways, there's our happy birthday. And you can see they all have a little bit of a different look since we use the blends. And on this, I'm actually going to pop this up on dimensionals. And we're going to put one in the middle too. There we go. I hope you've gotten excited over what's in the new catalog. I know I certainly have. I ordered quite a bit and then um, I already have a wish list going again but that'll have to wait for a bit all right so we're just gonna plop this up right here in the middle there we go and then our last little um, detailing is going to be these cute um, in color enamel dots and we're just going to take the misty moonlight ones let me get some of this pushed aside so it's not such a mess and these are um already have the adhesive on the backs so you were just going to pick them up and put one in each corner just for a little more detail Whoop. two more to go this one doesn't want to come off there we go all right our last one Oop, that one separated on me. You got to be careful to get underneath them. That's the first time one separated on me, and I've used them 
quite a bit, but. So there we go. There's the one we made. And here is our original. They're just a little bit different. And you can see the letters are going to be different every time that you do it. And um, I think that it came out really great. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not already working with a Stamping Up demonstrator, I'd love a chance to work with you. And all of my links will be listed down below. Thank you so much for watching.